Hello there, my YouTube friends. Hope you are well. Uh, getting ready to dive into the next uh, series and in the prayer and meditation that I do before I do anything uh, uh, in this genre of my life, I was given some inspiration and some guidance to do uh, a video uh, that I can put in the description box from here on in explaining um, not just how to book a reading with me, but what actually goes down in a reading. So uh, I, I, I said the prayer, I said, give me the words to explain this as briefly and as clearly as possible, so I don't have to keep saying it over and over and over in every single video I do. I can just refer to a link in the description box. Uh, well, they gave it to me. Uh, so here it is. Let's do this. So welcome. Check. Hi. <laughs> Intro. Uh, why am I doing this? Exactly that, to explain that. It's really easy to book me, uh, and we'll get to that. That's at the end. Um, but, like, what actually happens in a reading? Now, I taught tarot for decades, and I will again, uh, for sure. I'm just waiting for a classroom setting to do that. And I taught it in three stages, right? Uh, the first was the intellectual, the second, the intuitive, and the third, the spiritual, but also how to run a tarot business. And at the time, this is way before um, YouTube was a thing. I've been teaching it that long. Uh, and one of the things that I taught those who made it to that third level was, okay, what's your spiel? Like, when you explain to people what you do, what is it that you do? Like, what is your checklist uh, before, during, and after a reading? And, and certainly your introduction is part of that. So I'm giving you a little uh, uh, Reader's Digest uh, condensed version of that. So how I read, my work is not based on prediction because it's a quantum hologram. And that's why so often so readings, uh, so many times readings lead to false hope. Not that that isn't present in the moment of the reading, but we make so many choices and decisions down here in the game called human life that to make predictions and to focus on an expectation expectations are the seeds of disappointment and heartbreak, and I think we know that, particularly if you're following my channel. Um, so my work is about clarity. It's about getting you up to the highest possible um, perception, story, truth, to see what you can see from the GPS point of view, right? To, to see it from, I call it the Google map, right? <laughs> and you have all this free will and choice, and if you go down this uh, path, this quantum timeline, this is the most probable outcomes uh, that will show up, and then those outcomes will lead to the new situations. Um, so clarity is my thing. I am clairvoyant, it means clear seer, and pretty much from birth. So uh, very, very good at doing that. But then this next part is the self-preparation. Before I do a reading, and I've done this for decades, it is a sacred thing for me. This is my sacred art. This is why I'm not cranking out 10,000 videos of, uh, on YouTube every day. Because if I have a client, it's like I, I got to give them the very best and my very blessed that I can. So, you know, there's breath work and there's yoga and there's looking good. I mean, even when face to face, like, because we'll get to that. I'm going to get out into the world again, right? I got my J&J. &J, I'm good to go. I got masks that will <laughs> go with whatever it is that I'm wearing. And I do show up looking good. So that's the point. Otherwise, I am Leo rising Mars conjunct, right? Um... But the self-prep, even uh, for doing these videos, it's a checklist. I'm a Virgo, right? But that Pisces moon in me needs it so that I know I go into every single reading that I do or spiritual counseling. I'm going to do a separate video for that. Uh, but this is particularly about readings that, uh, you know, my own stuff is kind of clear so that I can be clear. <sighs> Whatever. You get me. Then the reading itself. Look, depending on the client and how much time we have, because I'm a hundred bucks an hour. That's been what I have charged since I started drawing the Circle Productions in 1998. I haven't changed my prices since, people. So whether that's for a half-hour reading, which would be 50 or U.S. dollars, uh, a full-hour reading, two-hour reading, and book me for a five-hour party, that's $500, because it just keeps the math simple, right? Um, so depending on the time that allotted, uh, I say a little prayer, right, to get the client rested, right, to get them centered always, even it, because because they sometimes when they come in and they just want to talk 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 it's like breathe breathe settle your energy because I'm gonna be reading your energy right uh, and rather than ask me questions this is something I have known since jump 
divination does not answer questions. It gives you information. It's like GPS, really, is a good way to say it. So, um, the metaphor that I use, and it's goofy, but it works. Your life is a flower of many petals, and if you want to know about the whole flower, that's a real big general reading, and I have a spread for that based on the horoscope and the zodiac. It's intense. Uh, um, but usually when people are paying the type of money that I charge, there's something specific they want to know about. So I said, pick a petal on that flower, and it can be anything. And if you had Mad Libs growing up, if they still exist, fill in the blank, right? I really, 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 for a hundred bucks, want to know about blank, right? Know that coming in. Because if you give me all the questions, maybe those will get answered, but my job is not to answer your questions. My job is to give you the information and the clarity so you can see what's true. What, and what is the truth, the immutable spiritual truth of stuff. Getting up as high as we can to see perhaps the lessons involved. Uh, then, of course, I do a spread. Now, the spread really is dependent upon what the guides give me in the moment, as well as if it's work, career, vocation. You've seen those reads on my channel, right? If it is a, a soul contract, twin flame soulmate, who cares where they are on the path of true love. Uh, chakra spreads, uh, which I love doing. I do a rather huge chakra spread, all eight, right? Eighth all the way down to root chakras to really get into the dynamics of what anyone is going through in any way, shape, or form. So, I mean, I've got so many spreads locked away in the subconscious. Uh, a lot of fun to do. After the reading, uh, I do take pictures of all of the cards. I take my cell phone, I take it up and I angle them, right? And I send them to the client, whether that's Facebook Messenger or email or however uh, we do that. Um, and then I ask, and this is, you know, totally up to the client, to wait 48 hours and then just drop me a note, because I know for sure, and I think a lot of readers, uh, as well as spiritual teachers, will agree, that the words just float on the surface of this tide of energy, of information, of spirit, of guidance, of grace, of whatever you want to call it. So I'm but the channel, <laughs> you know what I mean, <laughs> right? Uh, that energy, it is like being exposed to a form of radiation. It's a high, vi it's a high vibe, right? So uh, it changes things. And to let all that sit and integrate for at least 48 hours and then reach out. And if, you know, another question pops up, we can either book another reading, but usually if it's something like simple, simple. What some people have done have get, have given me what they got from it. Like just a ticket, you know, it doesn't have to be a conversation. And I go, yeah, that was pretty much what was there. And if you want to go further, you know how to do that, right? And I always recommend, I'm a teacher, I'm a teacher. I always recommend a book. I always recommend at least a video, something to take their education further that they don't have to pay me for, right? That's, that's just how I, I roll. So uh, that's how I read uh, the setup, the before, the during, the after booking me. Um, you contact me, right? You never have to worry from Mark Angelo Lyons, Mel for short, the Archangel of Lyons, Mark Angelo Lyons, uh, that I am going to go to the client. I don't do that. I never have done that. I'll advertise. I'll put myself out there. I'm doing it right now. And I'm doing it in honor <laughs> and grace and integrity and truth. Let my light shine at full capacity. Let my truth shine at full capacity. Uh, uh, but I, you'll never see me in a comment in here, it's like, if you want to book a reading, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. Just like the witch in the woods, which I am, I actually live in a wooded area, uh, uh, literally, as well as in name, uh, um, you, you, you have to come to the witch. And I think in this time and space, that's just easier uh, than me going door to door, because I mean, I would look good going door to door, but that's not my style either. I'm a Virgo, but uh, let's keep it clean, right? Uh, social media is the easiest way to reach out with me. If you're already a friend of mine on Facebook, easy enough to do. Drop me a Facebook message, right? And if you're not, you can still drop me a Facebook message on uh, um, on Facebook. Obviously, a Facebook message on Facebook. Um, but, you know, I, I check those too, like the message requests. And there's a lot of crazy on there. There's a lot of cray cray on there, so give me some time. Same thing with Instagram. I'm on Instagram. Twitter, at ProfWitch, you know, the little, little uh, whatever that thing is called, the circle A. Let's just call it that for now. P R O F W A T C H, short for professional witch. Uh, and you can try Gmailing me, right? Gmail me at drawing the circle at gmail.com. I'm thinking of starting a Mark Angela Lyons at gmail.com. I don't know. We'll see about that. Uh, just for reading clients, whatever, because a lot comes in there and the spam is nuts. So if it's your first time contacting me, 
I have to sort through all that stuff and I get a lot of spam so just just sorting through that um, and then you know once we've made contact of obviously we pick the time and date but then we also like I said pick the platform do you want it on zoom zoom is recordable but the con the, the quality is not great the visual quality is just not optimum I think Virgo right uh, but it is recordable the, the Facebook video call is the clearest cleanest but non recordable at least at the time of this uh, recording of course I have Skype as well but that feels like I hate to say Fred Flintstone but it feels like Skype's a little outdated at this point uh, but can do that as well as a talk on the phone but I'm gonna call you on my landline right? <laughs> I'll get my cell phone number unless I get a second line, which I might. Uh, uh, and of course, then of course, we have the lovely in-person readings, which, you know, I got my J&J &J right there, right beneath the pentacle, <laughs> the grapevine pentacle. Uh, I'm good to go. I will wear a mask wherever necessary because I have, I'm sure, everything to suit whatever it is that I'm wearing <laughs> for the day, as I said, look up, uh, show up looking good. Uh, and if uh, and I can make a house call, but it's got to be clearsy weirsy so we're going to wait a little while on that. I don't mind a house call for clients that I've worked with and have known for years in the local area. Obviously, I'm not, you know, getting on a plane to do a house call, but but I certainly do want to travel uh, if I can uh, the, the rest of this year and a good chunk of next traveling around the country, taking the YouTube stuff with me, uh, teaching, doing classes, doing readings, hanging out, and, you know, if everybody's doing their part, that can happen and doesn't that sound like a field day like eventually just like rent a block of a hotel room somewhere and just hang out at the pool uh, um, and of course I am still available for parties but that will be happening more and more as I said you book me for a wedding reception I won't drink I will not drink <laughs> because the edit function goes off and you don't want to like tell the bride, mm -mm, you know, that's not great. Or the groom for that matter, the bride, bride, groom, groom, whatever. Um, uh, but hundred bucks an hour, I read as many people as I can during that time and it's a field day, but no one's getting the deep intense. Like if somebody really wants to do a work career vocation for a 12 card spread, that's not gonna happen at a party. But what these have also been, and I loved uh, doing these right before everything shut down, a tarot party in a public space, uh, me with a chair, a table, with um, my divination systems at hand, and then essentially everybody sitting there, right, in chairs and the floor, or whatever I did in a yoga studio. Um, in Cinema Riches, it was lovely, fat cat papery. Thank you, Pam Garman. That was a, a field day. Uh, doing that through Yogaholic, uh, lovely company. Loved her too. Her name just shot out of my head. Of course it did. Uh, it'll come to me. A Taurus. She's a Taurus. Um, but essentially it was that. And there were like snacks. And, I, and we started. I said the prayer. And one at a time, I read them for filth. And it was a lot of fun. It wasn't recorded. Um, but maybe someday that will be without the people actually... Uh, having their face on camera. So even if we did that in your home, I could record it, right, and send you the video. But that depends on a lot of people's personal responsibility for their own health and their own healing and the protection of others. You know what I'm talking about, and I'm not going to talk about it any more than that. But just so that um, I'm coming out of monk phase, there will always be a part of me that will always be a monk who loves to pray all day and do sacred service. Um, but I'm ready to read. And if you want to book me, now you know how. I will always say links in the description box. So, of course, for this, there will be links in the description box. But I thank you so much for watching, right? Did I check everything? <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Close. Thank you so very much for watching. I love reading people one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. I started reading tarot when I was 12 years old. I'm going to be 53 September 6th. Yes, I know I don't look it. Thank you so very much. And that's why I'm like, okay, the gods, the angels, the archangels, the ascended masters, all y'all, send me out. Uh, book me. I am ready to be booked and I'm ready to, ready to serve uh, my sacred service. There is a function the gods would have me fill. <laughs> I'm pretty much, uh, uh, well, willing. Uh, ready or able, we'll see, but willing. So, book me. I love you. Thank you so much for watching and wishing you all the very best and the very blessed of the rest of your day at the time of this recording, whenever you are seeing it. Hell, farewell and blessed, blessed be.